Which first car you ever owned? It was my first car was a Mustang Cobra. Uh -oh. Yeah, it was. I always say this before they were rentals. This was when and they were still kind of cool and the Cobras were having their phase and it was a manual transmission and my dad thought that I needed to have a manual transmission car so that I could learn how to shift because I was, you know, going to be a race car driver. And he thought that I needed something with enough horsepower to get me out of trouble as opposed to into it, which is a fantastic concept for him to have. Uh, but what he thought was that I was going to be trying to pass, you know, semi trucks or cars on, on a two lane road and if you know, I didn't have enough horsepower, I was going to get a head-on collision, get into a head-on collision. So he better give me some horsepower. So that was my first car, but... Um, Better than my Fiat 124. Oh, I had a Fiat. I had a Fiat Punto when I lived in England. Okay. Maximum speed when you tuck those rear view mirrors in, which I have, was like 108 downhill with the tailwind. And that was it. It was on the limiter. That was as fast as it would go, and I got it up there most of the time. But... Um, uh, let's see, so what do you want to, you want to know what it's like to drive any of them? I have a Lamborghini Gallardo, um, there's no cup holders in that, so it's, it's, while it seems like it's a luxury car, it's not really about luxury. Um, so I, I don't drive that one as much. Um, it is nice, and I like the reaction I get when I say that I have one, and then I cr criticize it, so I think I'll keep it for that reason, probably because it's also not worth as much anymore either, so, um, uh, I don't know. I, I what, what, just yeah. I, I mean, IndyCar. It's there's nothing like driving an open wheel car. You know, the sensation that they that they produce is is unbelievable. They do unbelievable things, and you know, believing in the car and, and what it can do is is uh, sometimes the hardest part uh, is to believe that you can go flat um, through a, through a through a corner or go very fast or break even deeper. Um, and, you know, as I explained earlier about stock cars, you know, the racing is interesting. Things change a lot. You have to stay on your toes. You have to adapt. You have to, um, you have to be smart. You have to think ahead in the race. And, um, you know, you have, to, uh, you have to be able to make it to the end because, as we know, especially on these road courses, it's, uh, it can get a